What is up cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin and today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial about uh, the candy system in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and the easiest way to grind up candies because it's actually a lot easier than you think but because of the way the system works you need a lot of them in order for them to be effective. So just as a very brief overview, if you go to the bag in the candy jar pocket we have all these candies. So each of the candies, health candy, tough candy, mighty candy, go with a certain stat where health is obviously HP, mighty is attack, tough is defense, smart is special attack, uh, courage is special defense, and quick is speed. Now normally you would think, oh, also certain, every Pokemon has its own, you know, Caterpie candy which raises every stat by plus one. Um, those are the best candies in the game, but these are significantly easier to grind. Um, basically, the way this works is you can only do so many before it starts getting very expensive. If we look, if you see, if I wanted to use a smart candy on my Pikachu, Hans, I would need 11 of them when I only have eight. 11 is a lot because you don't get all that many of them per capture. Instead, um, you know, once a Pokemon gets to level 30, you can use the larges, which are much more cost effective. And then once it gets to level 60, you can use the extra larges. Um, basically, your Pokemon get so much more overpowered, especially in game. But if you want to do any kind of competitive things, you're, you're going to need to do this. So this is just a quick guide on the easiest ways to grind up candies. All right, so let's head over to Cerebi.com. And right now we are looking at Poke Earth for Route 1. Basically, the way it used to work is that if you defeated a Pokemon, you would get what's called an effort value for the Pokemon's highest stat. For instance, for Pidgey and Rattata, you would get one speed EV because speed is the highest stat for both Pidgey and Rattata. That's not always how it worked, but as a, as a general rule, that's, that's what would happen. Instead, now you will get, you know, a quick candy from catching a Pidgey. Um, as well as a special, or it'd be a smart candy for catching an Oddish, or a mighty candy for catching a Bellsprout, because those are their highest stats. So Route 1 is actually a great place to grind up speed candies, because you can catch Pidgeys and Rattatas. Now, when it comes to training, definitely combo if you're wanting to do this. Because if we, just really quickly look back at my let's go Pikachu scene I have over 700 quick candies and I did have quite a lot more that's because I had like a I think I currently still have a 50 plus chain of Charmander right now and because speed is Charmander's highest stat I got a ton no I don't want to no I don't want to sort this all right well um yeah Char speed is Charmander's highest stat so I got a bunch of quick candies um bunch of large quick candies and a bunch of uh, extra large quick candies so it is much much easier to grind up a Pidgey chain than it is a Charmander chain that Charmander chain because I was looking for a timid competitive like one to use for competitive stuff uh, to get 50 probably took me about four hours um, meanwhile getting 40 or 50 in a Pidgey combo might take you half an hour maybe if, if you're a little unlucky, but like Pokey Earth on Cerebi shows, you know, Pidgey's 40% chance on Route 1. So Route 1's a great place, depending on which game you are in, whether you want uh, special IVs or physical I uh, um, candies as well. So Route 1 is a great place for that. Route 3 is a great place for defense if you are playing Let's Go Pikachu, because you can ride up Sandshrews, they spawn very readily. Uh, as well as also a great place for attack uh, with both Spiro, Mankey, and I believe Ekans gives attack candies, of, uh, mighty candies as well. So Route 3 is also a great place for attack. Whereas if you're looking for special defense candies, come to Route 11. Drowsies are everywhere. And before I used all of them, I had well over 500 uh, special defense courage candies. So Drowsy is probably the single best source of this because it spawns super readily, it's rather easy to catch, um, and very, very easy to farm. So that is pretty much it. So basically just to condense all that I just said into one little snippet, 
Pidgey or Rattata are great ways to grind quick candies. Uh, Oddish or Bellsprout are great ways to attack your special attack candies if you're using Oddish or your attack candies if you are um, using Bellsprout. Uh, Sandshrew is the best source. Sandshrew or Geodude would work as well because they spawn very commonly as well. For uh, defense candies, for special defense candies, go with Drowsy on Route 11. And I believe that's it. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Any comments or thoughts, feel free to let me know. I'll be in the comment section pretty much for the rest of the day. I'm pretty regular about that. Um, and if you enjoyed this content, definitely feel free to subscribe and drop a like. And if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGav. And check out our second science-based Pokemon channel, Palette University, here on YouTube. Also on Twitter at Palette underscore U. And until next time. Smile you later.